Can you see all the red flags when buying a new HVAC system for your home? Making this expensive purchase is tough enough without all of the salespeople trying to make their commissions and all of the other misinformation out there on the internet. Today I wanted to highlight 11 red flags that you should watch out for when buying a new HVAC system. Number one, get the right size system. If a company comes out to give you an estimate on a new system, but doesn't take the right measurements, how do they know that they're installing the right size system for you? If a company comes out to your home and sees that your current system is a 3 ton, 60,000 BTU split system, and they just want to throw another one in that's the same size, without measuring your actual condition square footage, taking consideration for your window infiltration, attic insulation levels, the orientation of the home, and other influences like shade trees that may have recently been removed, I would see that as a red flag. Number two, buy the right technology for your situation. There are three types of technology when it comes to how an HVAC system works. Single stage, two stage, and variable speed technology. Which one's right for your home? Discuss this with your technician. If you tell them what you want and they tell you what they offer, you too will come up with the right system for your home. The point is, don't let someone tell you which technology that you need to get for your home. If you aren't involved in the process, that's a red flag. Number three, choose the right brand of air conditioning system for your home. I've written blogs on which brands are the best in the business. Some brands have bad reputations because they're the cheapest brands that home builders can find. They find these cheap brands so that they can win the bidding process for the job. So now that there's a bunch of these same, less expensive systems in the neighborhood, when they all start breaking down, they maintain the brand's bad reputation. On the other side, the most costly systems may not be right for your rental or vacation home. Just make sure that you're clued in to any salesman trying to sell you the most expensive equipment out there. That's a red flag for me. Check out my blog on this and let that help you make an informed decision on which brand to go with. Number four, choose the right contractor to install your new system. Not even the most expensive system in the industry will work right for you if it's not installed correctly. Manufacturers build the equipment and contractors install the equipment. If your contractor just throws your new system in and doesn't consider the finer points of installation practices, you're gonna suffer in the long run. Which brings me to my next point. Number five, check references and reviews. If your contractor doesn't have any reviews online, that's a big red flag. They may not be licensed. They may not even be a real business. But what happens when you need that person to service your equipment if it breaks down in the future? You may never see that guy again. That's why if he doesn't have any reviews online, that's a red flag. Number six, using the big companies in town. If the company that you choose has 50 to 150 or more employees, you might be paying too much for your system. Who's gonna pay for all those $100,000 salaries for the managers of those businesses? You are. That's why going with the big guys in town is a big red flag for me too. Find out more about the company that you're considering by asking how many employees that company has. Number seven, licensing, bonding, insurance, and sales agreements. I think it's fair to ask your potential contractor if they are adequately insured. What happens if they install it unsafely and the condensate drainage backs up, causing water damage to your ceiling? It's a huge red flag if your contractor doesn't have the proper insurance to cover your home in case of installer error. Number eight, contracts should be in place. I also think it's a red flag if your potential contractor doesn't have you sign an official contract. Did you know that contracts in California are about 13 pages long for an HVAC system? If you're not seeing this when you go to sign, that might be a red flag. The contract may not have everything written out clearly for everyone to agree to. The California State License Board has a pretty strict standard for what size font is even supposed to be used for those contracts. And attorneys for those companies will wanna make sure that they put the finishing touches on those documents too. 
that's something that you might want to consider. Legitimate businesses do things the right way and they don't cut corners administratively. Number nine, does your contractor pull permits? Big jobs that involve modifying the gas lines, high voltage, or structure of the house should have a permit pulled. You as the homeowner can pull the permit, but I would wonder why a contractor wouldn't just pull the permit themselves. After all, they are the professionals at this, right? If your contractor requires you to pull the permit, I would consider that a red flag. Number 10, maintenance plans. Some companies want to throw your system in, take your money, never to be seen again. I would like someone to take care of my system after the installation. Modern high efficiency systems need a little more care than earlier systems. That's why having a maintenance agreement in place with your installer is a solid plan. If they don't offer you something like that, I would see that as a red flag. And number 11, warranties on a new HVAC system. New systems come with a 10 year parts warranty. That means if any part of the system breaks down within the first 10 years, you won't have to pay for the part itself. You will, however, have to pay the labor for the contractor to do that work for you. Pay close attention to the labor warranty on your new install. A measly two-year labor warranty isn't offering much because new systems don't usually break within the first two years. It's usually like five, seven, 10 years down the road. If your labor warranty isn't offered to be extended to five or 10 years, assuming you let them do the required maintenance on the system, I would consider that a red flag. As someone in the field for a long time, I think it's important to share with you some of the red flags that I see other companies do to their customers. Hopefully, you'll consider these bits of information and it helps you with some questions that you have when buying your next HVAC system. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.